it's it's more of a um it's not about the money it's about the uh intent i always tip good like my wife and i we went to a place an all-you-can-eat sushi place it's actually one of the better known ones in the in the city and she'd gone there before with a friend of hers a couple of years back and it was really good when she said she went there we went excellent excellent service everyone is friendly and nice and even though it was super busy they have their, their gimmick is they bring you a hot stone to your table and you could cook slices of meat on the hot stone um it was okay like the food was like the sushi itself like i usually like getting spicy tuna and the way they do their spicy tuna is it's 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 all mashed up I like it when it's more diced up and kind of mixed a little bit, but it still has a little bit of texture to it. This just kind of tasted like, it did taste like, like the texture was like mushy. So it was, it was unfortunate. I still left them a 20% tip. <laughs> and that's way more than I usually do. It's just because they were so nice. You know what I mean? I don't think we'll be going back because the sushi, we both kind of, it's like, yeah, it was just, it was unfortunate because it was just really mid. But um, the service was excellent though. Uh, it hadn't been very cold when he first arrived in town, but as the sun dips closer and closer to the horizon, a chill descends, up, descends upon the hollow, and you see your situation with renewed clarity. You're in a new place, far from civilization and the people you know, following somebody you, someone you just met into a dark forest in search of monsters. Yeah, but I mean, she's got a great can. You feel more alive than you've been in years. Strength to calm, tense, unsub... Yeah, more alive than you've been in years! You feel alive. The fall breeze passing through the leaves, the orange hue of the setting sun painting the horizon, the promise of excitement ahead. <laughs> Wait, Phoenix, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a while since you felt this in the moment, this present. The world around you feels almost magical. Were a mythical creature to actually manifest in front of you, it would fit perfectly in this world. <laughs> you gotta love this brisk fall weather. This past summer was the hottest on record, since last year at least. You know how it is this day, these days. Each summer is the hottest yet until the next summer, which always finds a way to be so much worse. I would get so lost. <laughs> and Kia knows I would. Like Kia said earlier, I get lost in a grid city. It just, it's just nice to feel the chill in the air and see the leaves change. Like normalcy is restored, if only for a moment. Sorry, that was a bit of a bummer. We should talk about something more fun, like skunk apes. Are uh, you really expecting to find anything? Do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptids, like ghosts and whatnot? Uh, has anything bad ever happened on these hikes? What's the weirdest thing you've seen out here? Okay, well, um, yeah. Do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptids? Do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptids? You know, like ghosts, demons, werewolves, that sort of thing? Yeah, for sure. I used to go after all sorts of spooky stuff. I never had much luck, though. Especially when it came to ghosts. And back when I first started doing solo videos, I would get into all sorts of old abandoned buildings, hoping I'd stumble across some sort of activity. But nothing ever happened. It was all just me and my camera in an old house getting worked up over a gust of wind or a creaky floorboard. Wolfie. When all's said and done, that's a problem. I can't get around without the GPS. <laughs> I've just been a lot luckier with cryptids. I want to believe in ghosts so bad. But I can't rule out the possibility that there really are true hauntings out there. And I can't rule out the possibility that there really are true hauntings out there. But if there are, I sure as heck haven't seen any myself. Werewolves, I kind of lump in with, uh, with cryptids. I'd be shocked if there actually were people out there who turned into animals, but werewolf lore lines up pretty well with the great beast genre of cryptid. As for demons, I don't know. I honestly don't... <clears throat> I honestly don't even want to consider the possibility that they exist, because if they really are out there, geez, a lot of folks are doomed to an eternity of flames. So let's hope that all that, that, all that is just bunk, am I right? What about aliens? What do you think about aliens? <laughs> Don't even get me started. Did you see those UFO videos the government declassified? Aliens are definitely real, and they have absolutely visited Earth. Like, I believe in aliens way more than I believe in cryptids. I too. I'm gonna admit this, I believe in aliens. Okay, I do believe there is other life out there. I don't know if there's a galactic council that said we're not ready for like that one declassified thing or I don't I don't know. But I do feel I do 100 percent believe that they're aliens. Ghosts, it's it's one of those things where I want to believe, but I haven't really seen concrete proof, even though with my ghost story I told you guys. I believe there's something out there, 
but I just don't know exactly what, you know? But yeah, aliens, I 100% I believe there are aliens. They may not be as advanced as people think that they are. They may be at the same level of technology as we are, but I believe that there is other life out there that is living and evolving and doing things like humans are, you know? Exactly, Wolf. Exactly! You can't... Okay, even if you believe in creation, which I also actually do, I believe... The way my beliefs actually work, I do believe in a god, okay? I'm I, basically Christian non-denominational. Um... I believe that evolution is a real thing, but I believe that God made evolution, if that makes sense. I once talked to this Christian biologist who put it in perfect, he, he it was basically how he explained it. He said that, okay, who's to say that, it's, that, okay, now, Big Bang or whatever, you know, the first day, everything comes from nothingness, boom, world's there, boom, God made everything, okay? Who's to say God did not plan for evolution to advance species in different ways? It's all part of his plan, quote-unquote. Who say that God did not think ahead and say, you know what? These animals are going to need to adapt to this world that will change. It's not all going to say this. And it made perfect sense to me. That's what I believe. Creationism with evolutionary adaptability. They're not mutually exclusive. And if God made the universe, and there's planets and stars, and I mean, we look in the, in the sky, there's trillions of stars each one of those could have planets and each one of them could have a planet that supports life and could be at the perfect point away from you know the sun on their world to you know like ours is <laughs> it's good music for the model i'm going on a tangent god damn it this is a good game that's getting me thinking and on tangents that's good yeah but i yeah i believe in aliens <clears throat> i do i'm a <clears throat> I adore my darling Stella, but she gets the strangest ideas in her head these days. Ever since her parents went away, she's been more and more foolhardy with all this critter nonsense. You don't see me hunting aliens out here because we know they're real. Heck yes, aliens are real. I'm skeptical. I said, this is what the government wants you to think. Yeah, yeah. Heck yes, aliens are real. Nice. I knew we had a connection. I know somebody who knows somebody who heard from a, a story from a trucker in this in Fayetteville. His truck stopped in the in the middle of the road, it just shut down completely, even though he had a full tank of gas. In conclusion, aliens are real. <laughs> yeah, I know. There, it, it it's it's such a statistical improbability that we are the only ones. It, it's possible. It's completely possible. But it it is such a small, infinitesimal chance that we are the only living creatures out there. It may not even be. You know, people aliens. It could just be animals, you know? Oh, his truck seized up! <laughs> What's your theory, Wolfie? And suddenly it looked like daylight outside. He could see cows out in the fields, birds in the sky, and then this metallic-like egg thing appeared, floating in front of his truck. He passed out, and when he woke up, he was missing one of his pinkies. It's like it had never been there. It was just smooth skin where the pinky would be. I know it's a second-hand source, but there's plenty more like it. And if they are true... What if he just lied? <laughs> I mean, you know I'm a believer. I'm convinced. It makes sense to me. For sure. And even if this one's hogwash, there's a lot of evidence out there. Uh, has anything bad ever happened on these hikes? You know, just curious. Hmm, let me think. There was that one time back in early high school and Reese fell down a cliff. What the fuck? No wonder Reese doesn't go out anymore. Hey, Dora. Mm. That's an interesting theory, Wolfie. A very interesting theory. But he was fine. We had some folks from town rig up a pulley to get him out of the ravine. It is like only took a couple of months to heal. All in all, not too bad. Though I guess there was also that time I was out here alone and, and kind of got stuck in a cave. I was getting great footage of what I thought was a family of wumpus cats, but I wasn't able to wiggle my way back out. Turns out that the Wumpus Cacks were actually skunks who much, very much did not appreciate me blocking the entrance to their hidey hole. And instead of running for help, Gretchen just sat outside, bored to tears. Lassie, she is not. As if! I made sure to give those nasty little skunks a piece of my mind, and that's what I did. 
and I can't steal a company just as she would for me if I decided to hide in a hole for hours. <laughs> it took about an hour to get loose, which is pretty intense, but for a few tomato juice baths later, I was right as rain. She, so it could have been a lot worse. Oh, and there was the time I accidentally stumbled into old Duke's property and nearly got my head shot off. But that happens to everybody sooner or later. I'd barely count it. So yeah, these hikes aren't all that dangerous, all things considered. Oh, jeez. What's the weirdest thing you've seen out here? You know, other than cryptids. Other than cryptid related, of course. Oh gosh, that's a good one. Let me think. Well, there's always the deer I see stealing a baby bird out of a nest and eating them. That was pretty messed up. Oh my god. And that, okay. See, deers and squirrels, you think that they're herbivores, right? That they, they just eat plants and vegetables. They are opportunists, just like chickens. If it is there to eat and they are hungry, they will fucking eat it. Chickens will eat other chickens if they get underfoot. Because they know they're fucking delicious. He thought it was, oh no, Dora. <laughs> but I think most people know about that these days. I've seen tons of videos of other deer doing it, so I'm not sure it counts as weird anymore. Oh, uh, Tetanus Lake. That's definitely the weirdest. It's a five foot deep, 35 foot wide pile of old cans and bottles and assorted garbage with grass and trees growing on it so you could barely tell it was there until you stepped on it. Tetanus Lake, nice. It was practically solid ground with how much it had been compressed, but you could still fall through if you weren't careful. Hence the, hence the name. I don't write. You better be up in your shots if you want to mess around in there. It's all stuff from around the 50s, too, which is super neat. I salvaged a few bottles that I keep on my dresser as a little souvenir. Are you really expecting to find anything? What are the chances we actually run into a skunk ape here in just one night of filming? Well, that's fair. We are hunting a creature that stayed hidden from humans long enough to gain a mythic reputation. What are the odds of something like that popping out to star on my little, on my little YouTube channel? But hey, the chances are never zero, right? Did you hear that? Uh, calm down, Gretchen, you old mutt. Oh, Duke, you rascal! <laughs> Say to you, Stella. Yeah, I was jumping around and nothing, girl. Phew. Sorry for getting spooked, Duke. I thought you were... Some creature of darkness? Nah, girly. Just old Duke. What the hell are you looking for way out here? The skunk ape. Sorry I asked. <laughs> Who's this you've suckered into coming with you? Wait a tick. You aren't. Is that? Yep. I see. Welcome to the holler. My condolences. I'll keep you in my prayers. Now, both of y'all head back into town, you hear? Especially steer well clear of this area tonight. I'm out dealing with my own critter and won't be too appreciative of a couple of fools with a camera scare away the more sensitive wildlife. What are you hunting tonight? Something tall and hairy? Something musky? You seen anything like that recently? <laughs> Something musky? <laughs> I'm getting excited because she's excited. Oh, it says some Venus, Earth, and Mars. Way back, humans are life exists on Mars. We fucked that planet over now. Elsewhere, elsewhere's ready. Interesting. The only thing I, I have with those theories that where is the where is the actual like physical evidence on the planets? Even if it were so long, there would be some something would be left behind, you'd think. But it's an interesting theory, though. Yeah, 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 of course. What'd you like to know? You never get to stay in your business, Stella Richmond. Put that damned camera down. Oh, come on, Duke. Maybe I can help you out. I'm pretty good at tracking. You know I learned from the best. That you did. But I've yet to see a shred of proof that you listened to any of it. The way you trot around the woods at night yelling about chunkabungas or what have you. <laughs> chunkabungas. Something's been getting at my chickens. I lost three this week. You can't afford to lose more, many more than that. I'm sorry to hear that. But, huh. I wonder if Skunk Ape has a taste for chicken. Now see, this is why I don't come to you about these things. It ain't no Skunk Ape, whatever the hell that is. Chumbawamba sighting. <laughs> I know exactly what this is, but I know you won't believe me if I tell you. Oh, Duke, you don't think it's... 
I do, actually. It's those damned mountain lions. They're out there still. Okay, I love how... Oh, Skill Game's out there. No, no, there's no mountain lions in a mountain. Those don't exist. <laughs> I don't care what your little investigation turned up. You haven't been out in the woods as long as I have. Those sons of bitches are sneaky. Of course you wouldn't find one in any one night of tracking. And I know for a fact that's what's been getting at my chickens. Couldn't be anything else. I'm telling you, man. Mountain lions are extinct in these parts. There hasn't been an actual sighting since the 1990s. And even those were iffy. Were iffy. It's true. There are mountain lions out there sure as sin. They pee on all the best trees. <laughs> Can't believe you go out there on your YouTube saying some river monster spotted by a couple of school-aged Boy Scouts has been 100% confirmed. Yet, yet Appalachian Cougars are some kind of far-fetched fantasy made up by geezers like me. You made me look like a fool. I read those comments people were posting on your video. They were calling me all kinds of names just for seeing things with my own eyes that I know to be true. I'm sorry, Duke. I didn't mean to sick anybody on you. I just I don't think it's plausible. You'll eat those words when I come up carrying a mountain lion corpse out of those woods at dawn. If you don't want a face full of buckshot, I suggest you run home and stay out of the woods tonight. Ooh, street smarts? Do I? <laughs> Do I? What? If you find a mountain lion, don't kill it! Run on, Duke. Kill that mountain lion. <laughs> Damn tree, tree piss in Appalachia. I want it. Mm. We are, of course, not going to go home. That is that is a given. That is, that is a 100% certainty. Okay, we'll go home. What? Good. I'm glad you've got some sense. Stella needs somebody like that around. But I've got a film tonight. The video needs to be out by tomorrow evening so I can keep on schedule. If I miss an update, I might lose my new sponsor. And who knows what ha that'll mean for my career. No, Stella. We should leave. We should leave and we shouldn't come back. You turn and weak as subtle as subtly as you can. She immediately picks up what you're putting down. All right, Duke. Maybe you got a point. Come on, Hawk. Let's go back to town. Maybe my viewers won't be too angry with me. Glad to hear you're finally seeing some sense, Stella. You two run along now and stay safe. Well played, Hawk. Really threw him off the trail by pretending we're going back to town. Now come on, I know how we can loop around without him noticing. Can we actually go back to town, though? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to rub it in. Just follow Stella. The trail's just up this way. Let's go. I just I let you get some No! Oh god, if that happens, I'm gonna be so upset. I will restart this game immediately. <laughs> Alright, this looks like a good <clears throat> this looks like a good shot. Mind holding the camera? She hands you the camera and takes position. Let me just holding Gretchen like a football. <clears throat> As night falls, my new assistant, the mysterious hawk, and I find ourselves on a high hill in the Blue Ridge Mountains, where we will begin our hunt for the elusive yet pungent skunk ape. Though mostly encountered in Florida, this possible relative of Bigfoot has been spotted all along the southeastern edge of the United States, including right in this very county. His name was Stella. Here's hoping we get a glimpse tonight. We'll check back once we're on the trail. Until then, stay searching, Stellars. <laughs> and keep digging, Gretchers! <laughs> Gretchers! <laughs> Gretchers! I fucking love the dog. Oh my god. And keep digging, Gretchens. <laughs> I can take that camera off your hands for now. We'll be able to start the tracking scenes once the sun sets all the way. In the meantime, we could take in all this gorgeous scene gorgeous gorgeous scenery. I'm a Gretch. <laughs> uh it's breathtaking. It's hard to take all of that without danger. Quietly looking. Oh! 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 <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm, okay, look, 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 This is the only time I'm ever gonna save scum, okay? <laughs> you quietly look into Stella's eyes. Your gazes meet, and the two of you enjoy a brief moment of comfortable silence. Only for it to be pierced by a loud, percussive snort. It's Duke! <laughs> what was that? Oh no, the scum cape has found us! It's Duke back with a shotgun! Run! Death has come for me at last. Goodbye, cruel world. I just, I think, yeah. <laughs> what about the bug shot? <laughs> I can make a really crass joke, Dora, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I think you can extrapolate what I would say. 
What was that? <laughs> no need to panic. That's just the sound a deer makes when they want to warn the rest of the herd about a big scary predators like us. Let's check it out. Gora! <laughs> the frowny face. Hmm. I know, I know. As you and Stella hear the footfalls of animals retreating into the woods, she reaches for her flashlight. Holy shit! A single deer remains behind, staring down the beam of light while Gretchen whines and pulls at her harness. Pain. Rot. Decay. A deer! Let me at him! If he dare, how dare you fringe upon my dear Stella's personal space! Let me at him! And then it's gone. Jeez, Gretchen, calm down. You're gonna hurt yourself. Oh my! It seems I was so consumed by blind and rage! How very unladylike! What must you think of me? <laughs> I love how she's just a southern belle. She cannot handle deer. When she gets like this, I usually have to pick her up and hold her. She has a bad habit of slipping her harness when she wants to go after something. You're too much of a potato. And they don't make harnesses to fit potatoes, do they? Ah! <laughs> Ooh, I think that deer was threatening us. Or warning us. I think it was just sick. That thing on its face. I bet it was an abscess. Maybe a tumor. It's not like wild animals can get those taken care of, so they just get bigger and bigger. Poor thing. But there's not much we can do about it. That is a logical explanation. I don't buy it. But it's a logical explanation. Why do you bring Gretchen with you? Uh, why do you bring Gretchen out here with you? She doesn't seem like the safest choice for a hiking companion. Excuse you! Though, after that outburst came over me, well, I suppose I can see the merit of your concern. I actually find it to be quite the opposite. Sure, she wants to chase stuff, but I usually let her when I'm not on one of my cryptid hunts, so I can't hold that against her. I'm just happy she's still feisty, even at her age. Pugs aren't exactly known for the good health, but here she is, running around in the woods at 17. Holy shit. She's an octogenarian, pretty much. What, what does that mean? I said that word without knowing what it means. Hold on a second. What is that? <laughs> a person who's 80 to 89 years old. So, 17, this times 7 is... Okay, she is 119 in dog years. That is not an octogenarian. <laughs> I know big words, but I don't know what they mean. <laughs> and I feel like the fresh mountain air and exercise have helped a lot in that regard. You defy the laws of nature, don't you, Gretchy? Gretch. Oh, that got my heart rate up. I'm ready for the hunt. I'm so ready for the hunt. Same for me. How's about we take a quick snack break to fuel up, then we get right into the night's activities. I've got all the best trail snacks. As you settle down to rest, Stella breaks open a bag of assorted snacks. Unfortunately, it looks like there's peanuts in the trail mix. Uh, I'm allergic to peanuts. Oh, I'm actually allergic to peanuts. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. There are only peanuts in the trail mix, but I totally get it if everything being in my backpack makes them a little much for you. I'll be sure to keep that in mind in the future. Um, I, I, you know what? I will take a snack bar. They are sealed. It should be fine. You take a snack. You grab the snack bar. Excellent choice. A good source of energy and chocolate. They're cherry and cashew. I hope that's okay. I like to make my own and tend to make them with my favorites. I know that's not everyone's bag. Ooh, nice. Yeah, honestly, I, I love cashews, so... I'm not allergic to cashews! That's yeah, a good combo. Who could turn their nose up at a dried cherry? And cashews are always an excellent choice for a nut bar. Sturdy yet soft. Thank you, thank you. I love all nuts equally, but finding the right ones for my bars has been a long process. They have to be architecturally sound enough to hold the bar together without overpowering the texture of the fruit. Almonds and cashews are my go-tos, though occasionally I still experiment with pecans. They fall apart so easily, though. Oh, I know, but I'm taking a chance. I'm taking a chance, I'm only allergic to just peanuts because I know that's what I... That's the lie I gave, and I'm sticking with that story in case that guy ever shows up with another bag of wet peanuts. He could be around the tree right there. He could be Stella's brother just waiting. Hey, guess what? Remember me? I got that bag of peanuts! I'm not taking any chances. Anyway, sorry to ramble. It's hard for me to stop once you get me started on snack recipes. Sneaky wet peanuts. 
You and Stella settle down on an overlook, snacks in hand, as the quiet sounds of eating wildlife wash over you. Gretchen gnaws a stick, distracted for the time being. So tell, so, tell me what's like in Tacoma. Do you have a house? An apartment? Do you live with family? Roommates? Pets? Tell me what it's like to be Hawk. I live in a dingy studio apartment. I live in a closet in a house with ten roommates. I live in a doorless basement that floods whenever it rains. I live in an apartment with a difficult... That actually was me once. I live in an apartment with a difficult roommate. I live in a 12 by 12 shed in someone's yard. I live in an internet cafe. <laughs> no, I live in an apartment with a difficult roommate. Adora. <laughs> I didn't find this guy. An old roommate of mine had to move in and then they left and just... Holy fuck, that's what happened to me. That's exactly what happened to me. My roommate, when I had one, they moved out. But they found me a new one and I didn't even meet this guy until they moved in. I didn't have a chance to. And the, they were dog shit. <laughs> I did not. I. Ooh, it made me so. It made me so uncomfortable. I felt like. I felt like I was a visitor in my own house. You know what I mean. I. Oh, I was so glad to be out of there once I finally left. He's not the worst roommate I've ever had, so I can't complain too much. The biggest issue is a complete lack of respect for any boundaries. He sleeps on the couch in the common area most nights, always unclothed. He steals bites of my food. We, she thinks it's, he's really like, sneak about, but there's nothing sneaky about taking a huge bite of a freshly made sandwich when there are only two of us living there, even if I'm in the other room when it happens. And he infringes on my privacy all the time, too. If I close the door to my room, he'll just start screaming and sometimes even attack the door until I open it. Then just walk away. Like It's like he has a complex about closed doors. Which, of course, also means he doesn't close the door when he's doing his business. Almost like he wants me to watch him. And, ugh. At least once a week, he somehow misses and leaves these big pee puddles, which I always wind up stepping in. It's gotten to the point where I think he's causing lasting damage to the house, and no matter what I say or do, it just doesn't get through to him. Anyway, oh, sorry for the rant, but I could go on for hours about this guy. I mean, he's a cat, yeah, but he's a particularly horrible cat, and it's not like I could just give him away or anything. That would be cruel. Wait, he's a cat? Like the animal? Yeah, his name is Truck. I was terrified I won't get my security deposit. I was I'm terrified I won't get my security deposit back because of what he's done to the place. You know what? He had us in the first half until the whole door thing, and I was like, that's really weird. So, what do you do for a living? I built programmatic ads for companies nobody's ever heard of. I sell arts and crafts on Etsy. I'm a first year associate at a big law firm. I'm a streamer! Fuck yeah! I'm actually a streamer. Oh, no way. A fellow content creator. That's awesome. I knew we had a lot in common, Hawk. What sort of streams do you do? I play video games. I do art. I teach people how to cook. I play music. Yeah, <laughs> I play the video game. I play the video games. <laughs> I mostly stream video games. That's cool. I'll have to check out your channel sometime this week. How do you like it? I wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs> I used to like it, but now I don't know. <laughs> oh, how real do I get right now? <laughs> like, my god, base. This is... This... Who the fuck wrote this game? Because where did they find me? Like, I fucking... I was not expecting any of this shit to show up. I would trade it for a fair-sized region. <laughs> Uh, to be perfectly honest, I would not trade this for anything in the world. Most people I tend to raise, most people I meet tend to raise their eyebrows when I tell them what I do, but I love it. It might not be much, but it makes me feel like I'm taking control of my own destiny. Believe me, I can relate. I don't think I'd give up, give up what I do for anything. Seriously, a crisp breeze passes over you. You can't help but shake the feeling that you're being watched. Ooh. You scan the tree line, but whatever might be out there is nowhere to be seen. I think we're being watched. It might be Skunk Ape. Do your best to pretend it isn't watching us. We don't want to scare it off. What about you? What's your living situation? I'm, I'm here for Stella. Skunk Ape is okay, but I'm... Mm. Gretchen and I live in a little house just outside town. It's actually the house I grew up in, so it has a lot of pleasant memories attached to it, and I'm glad I could keep it in the family. A great-great-grandfather built that house. 
You must have done a great job because it's as sturdy as it's ever been. I gather your parents aren't exactly around anymore? Yep, you got it. They died a few years back. But it's okay. I've done my morning. Life goes on. And we still get to live in our beautiful family home. Just me and Gretchen. It could be a lot worse. I can relate. Uh, my mom died pretty recently. <laughs> oh, do I try the... Okay, the joke failed with Tabitha. Do I try the joke again? That's the mark of a good comedian. You find a different audience. Dora! <laughs> Don't you dare. <sighs> oh. The in okay, the intrusive th thoughts, they're winning. I save, this will be the only time I save scum if it turns bad. I guess we're both members of the Dead Moms Club, huh? <laughs> Welcome to characters of the Dead Moms Club! No! I got an achievement! Oh, God! <laughs> I guess we are. How are you holding up? Oh, God. Was I, uh, I'm okay. Hanging in there. It was a long time coming, so it wasn't a surprise. I kind of come to terms with it by the time it actually happened. That's not all bad. She doesn't have to be in pain anymore, and that's a relief. The hospital bills are another story, though. Yeesh. I can't imagine how bad that must be. It's just salt in the wound at that point. Whoa. My stars, what was that? Only Hawk would get that achievement, Wolfie. Ugh. Oh, you're right! They, oh, the game kind of gave you a hint! Ah, I kind of like that. I didn't even... I, I totally forgot about that, Clef. You're right. Stella immediately packs her bag and slings it over her shoulder. Skunk Ape, please tell me that. Skunk Ape! Oh, man, it's Skunk Ape. It's gotta be, right? It could be, could be. Whatever made that sound, I've never heard anything like it. And it's close. Here, hold Gretchen's lease for me and let's check this out. You and Stella inch towards the tree line as she shines her flashlight into the woods. Do stay close, Hawk! I wouldn't want any harm to befall you! I love Gretchen. As you approach, a series of weak clucks call out from a nearby bush. Pain! It's all pain! Maybe Duke's birds weren't eaten after all. What the fuck? It had an abscess like the deer. What the, what the hell was that? Hold on, I gotta play that back. Holy shit. I guess it must be maybe two, three feet tall? Doesn't look hairy either, so I, I think we can rule out skunk ape. But whatever it is, it has one of Duke's chickens. Oh, wait. Well, or was that, a, that something? Oh, oh I, I missed that. Shit. It looks like it's headed north. Let's go after it. But now we found some, oh yeah, what have you got me into? Do, do we have to? You know what? No, right behind you. Let's fucking do this. I didn't become a streamer on Twitch to 12 people a night by being a pansy. Hey, how many is it right now? 11 people a night to me. <laughs> <clears throat> right behind you. You follow Stella as she sprints into the unknown, Gretchen excitedly pulling you along by her leech. Oh, shit. Stella, my darling companion, are you all right? Ugh. Oh, good. The oh, no. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. I just tripped on something weird. Oh, no. That poor thing. It must have been one of Duke's. I was right. There is an abscess on it. Oh, Jesus. It's still alive. Investigate the chicken. That's what we're here for, folks. You move Stel towards Stella to get a closer look at the chicken. Look at it! And don't let Gretchen get too close. She'll try to bite it if you don't stop her. I would never! Something about this bird doesn't smell right! You hold Gretchen's leash close to your chest. She squirms against her harness. Examine the growth, honestly. Good God. At first you thought it must, might have been a tumor, but this is... 
something else. The skin is stretched taut, the growth pulsing beneath. I didn't know this was a fucking creature feature game. Holy fuck. Like I said, I went into this completely blind. This is my fucking jam right here. If this is creature feature, holy fuck. Whatever it might be, you know better than to investigate this lump any closer. You've seen horror movies. <laughs> you back away from the chicken. Your curiosity eclipsed by your instinct for self-preservation. -preser Examine the wing. Looks like this is what Stella slipped on. The wing is barely attached, barely still attached. But what seems to be that, but that seems to be the least of this chicken's concerns. Examine the head. Why am I alive? This poor little chicken eyes look up at you, glazed over, but still rolling around in their sockets with unfortunate life. Having investigated to your heart's content, you turn away to give Stella room to film. <clears throat> it seems I found one of Duke's chickens, folks, and she's not looking good. I'm hesitant to speculate, but she definitely seems to have some sort of growth under her skin. Could be a tumor. Could be something else. Either way, I don't think there's much here that can be done for her at this point. Jeez. I'm gonna have to put up some massive content warnings for this video. Hey, do you hear that? There's something out there all around us! I can smell it! There's so many of them! What in the Sam Hill are you two doing out here? Didn't I tell you to? B Birdie? Oh, Birdie, what's wrong, darling? Good God! Did y'all see what did this to her? Oh, Duke, Duke, we're on the same team, team, team here. We both want to know what happened to Birdie as much as you do right now, so we'll get to the bottom of this, I promise. We were on the trail when we found her, like this. I, well, yeah, obviously that's I honestly that's what I would do too. I would end its suffering. I'd find a very large rock and smash it down as hard as I could on its head. Whatever did this to her, I think we can hear them in the trees. A camera away for God's sake, girl! I don't want to be in another of your videos. No need. No one needs to see me like this. No one needs to see Birdie like this. You want to put her online, would you? No, when she's like this, all swollen and hurting. Duke, did you hear me? I think they're coming closer. You stay away from my Stella, you mongrels! Well, he's not hes not suspicious. He's just... He's not acting smart right now. Come out, you sons of bitches! Duke, don't shoot them. We have no idea what'll happen. Hear that, Stella? I hear the sound of something peace-like. Whatever these things are, they'll pay for what they did to my girls. Come on, you, whatever your name is. Grab that flashlight and help me line up a good shot. I can feel the white hot rage from Ilya start to wash back over me. I'm going after them. As the creatures in the train line grow louder and more numerous, Gretchen violently strains against her harness. Quick, they're closing in on us. I'm sorry, I am not letting Gretchen die. Nope. I have to save Gretchen. Holy shit. You dive forward and scoop Gretchen into your arms just before she manages to wiggle out of her harness. Your eyes fix it on the trail end over Duke's shoulder. God damn it! I may have made a mistake. You hear a body hit the ground and then quiet as the chaos fades and the sounds of nature creep back in. Gretchen, Hawk, Duke, are you alright? Uh, just a little shaken up. Same. What happened? What happened? Did I lose myself again? I apologize for being so easily shaken up. I'll do better. Gretchen, here, I'll take her. My poor little pup. Thanks for watching out for her. D Duke, are you okay? Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God, Duke. Holy shit. What do we do now? What the hell are we supposed to do? Holy shit. Okay, Street Smart. Drew had a hunking accident. 
by himself. That sounds like I'm trying to cover it up. No, I don't want to. We, we, we've got to go to the police. I know, right? I don't like that choice. It's like it's it's self -pre -pre -preser preserving, but no, we yeah. What do you mean? What do we do? We got to take this to the police. A man's dead. What happened to Duke? Is something wrong with him? What happened to Duke? Is something wrong with him? Why won't he get up? You're right. You're right. And we have footage of what happened here. Uh, but it's so dark and shaky. It just seems so unbelievable. We need more footage. Come on. Let's go after them before we lose our chance. Lead the way. Are you sure? <laughs> are you nuts? A man is dead, Stella. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in the middle. Are you sure this is a good idea? Stella? No, but we're already in this deep. What's the harm in digging a little deeper? <sighs> Lead the way. Good to know. Lead. It looks like Duke managed to tag one of them before he... You know. We should be able to follow that blood trail. Let's go while it's still fresh. As you and Stella push through the woods, the unearthly sounds once again surround you. Holy shit. God, they're everywhere. No, we don't. We have Gretchen. I smell something terribly foul, like a piece of rancid meat. I think we're almost there. The trees are starting to thin out. The shrieks pull back into steady whispers as you and Stella stumble upon the putrid bodies of dozens of dead and dying animals. They're fucking egg sacs! They're impregnating the animals! They're not eating them! Look at where they're bursting open! A sinking realization pulls in your guts. This is their nest, and you are surrounded. What is this horrible place? We need to get out of here! More of those swellings. All the animals here have them. Or had them. <laughs> we should have grabbed that shotgun. And got my fingerprints all over it? Come on, we got enough footage. Let's get the hell away from this nest before things get ugly. No, she's actually, she's right. She's absolutely right. Just as you follow Stella in a mad dash of the woods, so too do the unearthly hollers and whispers of the nest. In the highest branches of trees and down on the forest floor, they're all around you, casually keeping pace with your all-out sprint. We're almost there. As you and Stella reach the main road, the cries of the creatures fade back into the sounds of nature. Sounds like they stopped following us. I certainly can't smell that stench anymore. I should get reception now that we're back on the main road. Let me find my phone so I can call the sheriff. Feel a buzz in your pocket. Six mixed calls from Tabitha. Tabitha, where are you? Oh, no. where the hell did you go? Oh, no! We didn't tell our cousin shit! Also, hold it. Okay, I know... God damn, I feel bad that Duke got killed. But it was between him and Gretchen, and... Mm. I mean, shit! And 13 text messages. Tabitha seems worried. It's pretty late, isn't it? Still so presents her phone and dials. Hello, Earl? It's still Richmond. I'm up in the mountain in the, uh, Asgina Trail. Duke is dead, Earl. Shotgun. It happened right in front of us. There, there's something in the woods. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're okay, but hurry. Jesus, Earl, who's going to tell Bo? I guess now we wait. Well, it says it came back after we left the, the deeper woods. It takes a little while, but eventually a patrol car arrives at the scene. Out of it walk two officers, Sheriff Hugby, a friendly older, a friendlier older man, and Deputy Franklin, a serious man wearing sunglasses, sunglasses despite it being the middle of the night. Should I have called Tabitha? God damn it, maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, someone called Tabitha! See, right here. A thing jumps out of the woods and then the shotgun goes off. What, in Sam Hill? 
What is that? Some kind of Pillsbury Doughboy? Could be a naked maniac. <laughs> I fucking loved De Deputy Franklin. As the video reveals the creature's nest, Franklin ever so slightly lowers his sunglasses. Or a whole bunch of naked maniacs. What the heck is that? Some kind of crop circle? Okay, Dora. <laughs> they killed Duke. Uh-huh. Now we're gonna have to come and see at the camera, Ms. Richmond, if you don't mind. This is evidence. But I... Okay. Let me just turn it off to save the battery. Still given to the request suspiciously easy. Hmm. Here you go, Deputy Franklin. We appreciate your compliance with the law. Which means it's happened before, and she's gotten in trouble before. I think. We'll get a team out in the morning to retrieve the body. But for now, Sheriff Hugby and I... Please, call me Earl! Earl and I will escort you and... Who are you, exactly? That's Hawk. He came into town today for a funeral. <clears throat> for the funeral. Hawk, as in... Tabitha's cousin, yeah. Damn! Didn't think you'd actually show! We'll escort you both back to town. If there's a naked maniac on the loose, it's best you don't walk back on your own. It wasn't a... Never mind. Why aren't you going out there tonight? There's a dead body in the woods. Those things out there could attack somebody else. Someone else. Well, it ain't exactly like old Duke is going anywhere at this point. He'll still be out there in the morning. We only have a skeleton crew at the moment. I know, something feels off about this. <clears throat> Monday nights of Deputy Dickerson's morning nights. Derrickson's. <clears throat> We'll be on alert for any more reports of naked maniacs, but retrieving Duke will just have to wait. Now, if you'll kindly step into the vehicle, we can return you safely to your home. Do we have to ride back with you? We can just walk. Those creatures left, we'll be fine. I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist for your own safety. Zemsi! Hey, Zemsi, how you doing? Stella sighs. Okay, thank you. You ride a fruit with me, little lady. That is, if your mama permits. But what about Stella? She hates being in these wheeled contraptions. That's how her parents died. A car wreck. Sure, Earl. You can hold Gretchen on the way back to town. The cops usher you and Stella into the back of their squad car. You're just the cutest little thing, Miss Gretchen. Yes, you are. Sheriff Hugby... Pats Gretchen on the head affectionately, but she remains wholly focused on Stella. A worried look stretched across her little pug face as Hugby scratches her behind the ears. For such a gregarious person, person Stella is unusually quiet as the car makes its way down the pitch black mountain road. Oh, my poor Stella! Neither one of us much likes these awful metal beasts! If only I was able to comfort her! Confound this man who reeks of coffee for keeping us apart! <laughs> hey, Stella, you good? She doesn't respond. Place a comforting hand on her shoulder. You reach out and rest your palm gently on her shoulder. She jumps slightly ear to touch, but you can feel some of her tension ease and hear her let out a self-soothing sigh. I'm just gonna remain silent. You sit quietly, watching the trees pass by in the light of the headlights. Every now and then you think you see a pale, anguished face staring at, out at you before it slips, slips back into the darkness. It's because it's a weird small town. <laughs> Soon the rumble of gravel beneath the tires gives way to uneven pavement, and the car comes to a stop in front of a small cottage. You two stay out, stay out of trouble. We'll have this sorted out in the morning. Just get a good night's sleep. And you, whatever your name was. <laughs> I peed freely! <laughs> ACAB! I pee freely. Sure. You're in town for the funeral? Good. Don't you go leaving before then. I imagine we'll need to ask you a few questions about everything you've seen tonight. Stella, keep an eye on her. And she smiled too, so I know that was a good choice. Make sure it doesn't get in any more trouble. Y'all have a good night now. Bye bye, Gretchy. And y'all have a lovely evening. If any bugaboos give you trouble, you know how to get in touch. And here you are, back in town, away from the woods with no one but Stella in sight. Holy shit. Uh, why would we, we could walk home? I hope you don't mind me asking, but why on earth did you... Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna be... I hope you don't mind me asking, but why on earth did you want to walk home? I already know the answer. 
That's a fair question. I've just had some bad experiences with cars. I don't know how to drive them, and I don't like getting into them unless it's literally a question of life or death. Which I guess tonight was. Sorry if I weirded you out. God, what a night. They seemed a little blasé about everything. They sure seemed a little blasé about a man's death. I can't believe they're waiting until the morning to even start looking for him. Who knows what these things are doing to his body right now? I believe that they are well-intentioned. Well-intentioned, if in over their heads. I know, right? And what's worse, I think they implied that you're a suspect. Even after we showed them all that footage. Even the nest. <laughs> the truth will get out. Even if they don't believe that footage, those things are, are out there in the woods. And something's telling me they're not going away. Yeah, no kidding. But it's okay. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. Nor will I, though I have a little understanding of, though I have little understanding of police work. <laughs> I just, I love her so much. I know a man died, but I did not make the wrong choice. Mm. When we started the game, we could pick from a couple of different perks. And one of them was literally talk to animals. You can talk to them, but they can also talk to you. You can't control it. So it's been the best choice ever. I don't write cl Exactly. I love it. Little understanding of police work. I was there. I filmed the whole thing. At the very least, it'll, it'll never hold up in court. And it won't get to that point either, because we're going to do a little investigating of our own. We've got to find out more about those things. If we can get clear of footage, or better yet, trap one of them, there's no way they can blame me for what happened. The library doesn't open for a while, but I've read every book on cryptids they have and never came across anything like this. Hmm. There is someone in town who might have some useful information. My friend's mom. Her place isn't far. We should just head over now before it gets any later. I should check in on Tabitha. I should probably check in on Tabitha. My friend's place is on the way back and shouldn't and stopping by shouldn't take long. You sure you don't want to stop in first? I know I wouldn't want to head up to the mountain road by myself after everything that's happened tonight. Uh, well, when you put it like that, I thought I meant like call or when you put it like that. Sure, let's do it. Awesome, let's go. I'm glad you're sticking it out with us. It's always nice to have an extra companion. Always so nice. <laughs> I love Gretchen. I hope she's still awake. There's something foul creeping. There's something foul creeping up behind us. Hawk. Jesus. You and Stella turn to see a shadowy figure staring at you from across the road. You didn't hear it approach. Welcome home. Before you can respond, the door swings open. An older woman stands in the entryway. Go home, Wayne. I can't help you tonight. You look back and the figure has already disappeared into the shadows of the night. I thought that was Duke for a second. Me too, Wolfie. Holy fuck. I'm sorry about that, Stella. Some people just can't be helped. What brings you out here so late? And who is this? Hi, Miss Forsyth. This is Hawk. Is it okay if we come in? I know, right? Gretchen is the pug. Of course, of course. You're in luck. I just put on water for hibiscus tea. And for goodness sake, you can call me Sybil. You're an adult now, after all. Welcome to my little nook. This place always... This place always... This place always has the loveliest aromas. It's nice to finally meet you, Hawk. I'm so sorry to hear about your mother. I was so sorry. Vivian was such a lovely soul. She's been sorely missing the holler. And our poor Pearland is gone as well. Do let me know if there's anything you need while you're in town. <laughs> nice, Clef. Wait, you knew my mom? Of course, dear. She was a good friend of mine for many years. She was such a lovely woman. You should come by sometime. I can delight you with unsavory tales of her youth. Who is that outside? Just a very sick man. You don't need to be worried about him. What if... What if that's my dad? Uh, how did you know my mom died? Oh, Pearl Ann was a chatty woman. Not much went on that I wasn't wouldn't get an earful of, bless her heart. 
I never met Pearl Ann. You don't have to pass on your condolences to me. I have no feelings about the woman. Ha! Huh, that's fair, child, but it seemed like the right thing to do. We need your help. Ah, yes. I suppose pleasant treats can wait for another time. What's got you here so late? You seem troubled. You know that about weird stuff, right? Unexplainable stuff? Everyone knew you. That, the way you said that, Zempsey, holy shit! I'm not so sure I followed you. I know which oils to use for which aches. I know a bit about classical spiritualism. Just what sort of unexplainable things are you talking about? The Duke was killed tonight by something in the woods. Oh my lord, have you contacted the police? Yes, and they didn't take it very seriously. They're not even looking for the body until tomorrow. Those things out there, I don't even know how to describe them. I can't say I know much about local wildlife. My daughter has always had a broader gift for nature than I. This wasn't... This wasn't the local wildlife, Miss Forsyth. Here, I can show you. Stella pulls out a memory card from her sleeve and pops it into her phone. Oh, you cheeky... Oh, Stella! I fucking love her. This must have been why she was so quick to hand over her camera. I wasn't about to just let the police hold on to this. At least not before we had a chance to make a copy. Smooth. The cops wouldn't know what to do with the footage anyway. Imagine if they accidentally erased it. Exactly. I'll give it to them if they ask again. But for now, we can examine the footage for ourselves. <gasps> Where was this? Up in the mountain, to the northwest. Within the town limits? Yes. I see. Is there a way to make the video bigger and louder if you can? I need to plug the memory card into a computer. I can go back and get my... No need. Kanika should still be awake. She can lend us hers. Kanika? Are we seeing Kanika? You better come with Stella. I'm sure she'd be more than willing to help a friend than a nosy mother. Kanika, come on out. We could use a little help. What, Mom? Oh, hey, Stella. And Gretchen, who's a good potato. Kanika, is it me? Am I the good potato? I will certainly hope I am. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> and a stranger. What are you doing in my house? Hi, I'm Hawk. Tabitha's cousin? Cousin? Yep. Sweetie, we wondered if we could borrow your laptop. Stella and her friend have a video to show us. It's really important, Kanika. Okay. My room's a mess. I'll just bring it out there. I know, right? I, I, you know what? I, I, as much as I hate that Duke died, because he seemed like a cool character, I fucking, no, I, I could not give up Gretchen. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, save. <laughs> it's, the last time we saved was before all this shit happened. Oh, God. Heads up, Kanika. This is graphic. Duke got killed in the woods tonight. It's on the recording. Wait, are you serious? Duke's dead? We can watch this without you. You don't have a harder stomach than any of, your fr than any of our friends. I'm pressing play. Silence watches over the room as the video plays. Stella? What the hell is this? Oh, I know, yeah. This is far beyond my ability to contribute. I'll leave the thinking to you humans. I'm sorry either of you had to see this, but Hawk and I have no idea how to make heads or tails of it. Stella, are you okay? Did you get hurt? <laughs> Wolfie. The Sailor Moon shirt, that's cute. I'm fine, really, I'm okay. I'm not gonna be a jerk. No, no, this is, no. You remain silent. Because like, we watched a man die. They're, they don't know me. I'm, I'm an outsider here. I'm not gonna be a jerk about that. If I knew these people and they didn't like, if I had a rapport with them, yeah, I would be like, I would say, yeah, oh, I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. You know, if there was a rapport there, there's not. <laughs> I, God, I am playing this like me. Holy fuck. <laughs> it's a me who could talk to animals and is more street smart than I, than I actually am. This is the ideal me. The streamer who has actually made it as a streamer. <laughs> Poor Duke. Poor Bo. Has anyone told him yet? 
Well, we talked to the police. I hope they told Bo, Bo, but Earl and Deputy Franklin didn't seem to be in too much of a hurry to do anything. I'll call them later tonight. For now, we have something far more serious to discuss. Talk to more animals. I agree. Those things are still out there. And as long as they are, more people are in danger. It's very good base. Yeah, I, I highly recommend it. It's on sale. It ends tomorrow. But like, um... Here, let me put the, uh... God. Poor Trigger... The name of the achievement I got for when Duke died was Poor Trigger Discipline. Oh, no. I got, I got an achievement for making a nest. Oh, fuck. Welcome back, Dora. You didn't miss a whole lot. The cops basically blew us off and we're, we're talking to uh, Stella's friends and her mom about what happened, about Duke's death and those things in the woods. So you didn't miss too much. I have saved five times, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> did I, did I? There we go, yeah, there's the game. Yeah, I highly, like, Xan got this for me as a gift and I, I'm loving it. People are in danger. Oh. So very true, but not for the reasons you think. These things, my grandmother called them ditchlings. They are a terrible omen. A sign of great suffering and destruction to come. Mom, come on. Whatever's doing this is serious. Stop scaring Stella and Hawk with this uh, Taily Poe crap. A man just died. Have some respect. Kaniki, sweetie, let your mother talk. The creatures themselves are harmless to people. People, despite that grisly scene in the woods. How can you say that? Duke is dead. The VN girlies like this. A fortunate accident and nothing more. Just as birds flock before a storm, the ditchlings congregate where tragedy is soon to fall. To see one is to be cursed by fate. To see so many in one place is... <clears throat> Sybil holds her silence. Jesus, Mom. They clearly had a rough night. They don't need this... It's okay, Kanika. It's okay, Kanika. This is helpful. So whatever these things are, they aren't magic. We can't rule it out. Rule that out. Not after what we saw. Wolfie. <laughs> but fine. Let's focus on what we know. Whatever they are, they're do they're doing something to these animals. You saw the nest. What were those growths? Uh. Maybe the Ditchlings were here for Duke? I mean, he did die. Does that dog ever walk? Nope. Maybe the Ditchlings were here for Duke? Like some sort of self-fulfilling prophecy? Unfortunately, no. The presence warns of something far more sinister than one man's death. Stop speculating about this occult nonsense. Let's focus on what we know. Do any punks walk? Right. What are those growths? Kanika has a point, so I don't uh, y'all maybe they're making maybe they're making more of themselves. Maybe they're making more of themselves? Yeah, maybe we're seeing here some sort of parasitic larval stage, part of their life cycle. But I don't want to jump to any conclusions about something this out there. Not without doing some research or talking to a biologist. Badly? <laughs> okay, Zemsi. I'm sure there's a rational explanation that'll clear all this up. Oh dear, I forgot entirely about the tea I put on. Let me fix you a couple of cups, though. It'll help soothe your nerves. I don't know, it's getting late, and I should let Hawk get some rest. I ran him ragged today with all the hiking and running through the woods in terror. In my count, I just want I just want to go home. Thank God, let this miserable night finally end. I'm tired as shit. No, I can keep going, I'm still wired. I can stay out, I'm still wired for everything that's happened. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's that I'm eager to get home and start doing some research. I'll just go around for my usual forms if anyone has any information on ditchlings. Is that what you call them? That's right. You go on home now. Do try to get some rest. Don't stay up all night on the online. <laughs> on the online. Oh, God. Yeah. Has he made a new one? I haven't gotten any notices. Let me get some of my housemaid peppermint tea to go. It really does wonders to soothe the soul. Like you fucking up her voice because she's old and southern <laughs> bye Stella I'll see you tomorrow okay and call me if you need to talk thanks Kanika I'll see you bye Hawk 
was excellent eyes to warm, though with the nights getting chilly or warm would probably be best. Help us wake up the bones. Be careful out there. Both of you. Sybil turns and closes the door behind her. No, I haven't, Dora. What an unfortunately short visit! Alrighty, let's head back home. My home, I mean. And here we are. You're welcome to stay the night if you want. Hell yeah, sleepover! <laughs> I should say. Um, or should I say thanks? I'm terrified of being alone tonight, honestly. I mean, fuck, all that shit. Go I, but why has, why is not, okay. Why do we only have one chance to call Tabitha at the very beginning? Hey, at least I didn't eat her. She, you know what? She already hates me. I, and I'm trying to get in really good with Stella. So, you know. Call rates. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the offer. I'm terrified of being alone tonight. Yeah, no kidding. I can't say I was looking forward to it myself. It doesn't take long for Stella to fix up the guest room for you. Um, while it's certainly smaller than its counterpart at the estate, it's far better cared for. It's so exciting to have a guest. I can't remember the last time we've had company. Make yourself at home. Uh, you didn't have to do it. What do you make of all this? Who's that guy inside of Sybil's? Okay. Oh, yeah, I should probably touch. Oh, yeah. You know, you didn't have to do all this, right? You don't have to worry about that. I'm glad the guest room is finally getting some use. What do you make of all this? Yeah, thank God you can fuck off. Don't fuck your cousin, Kia! What do you make of all this? Gosh, I don't even know where to begin. Those creatures are out there and Duke's dead. I know that some things Sybil said were a little wild, but if she is right and they are an omen, maybe we can change things and stop whatever's brought them here before it happens. It couldn't hurt to poke around town. I have the time. Agreed. Who is that guy outside of Sybil's? There's something really off about him. Wayne? I haven't really gotten to know that guy. I think he works in the mine. It might be worth looking into him. I should probably try calling Tabitha. Right. She'd probably like to know you're not dead. And get some rest, Hawk. I'll see you in the morning. I'm on the verge of passing out myself! What an exciting, if terrible, day! Pull out your phone and call your cousin. It rings for a moment before she picks up. Where the hell have you been? Hang up on her. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, God. Okay, do you know anyone named Wayne? There was someone playing piano in the sealed-up wing of the estate. Hang up on her. I watched a man die tonight. Hi, Tabby. <laughs> Hi, Tabby. I think that will explain everything. <laughs> okay, um... I... I... Uh, I, mm, I I'm gonna say it because if it, if it moves it forward without me really having... I, mm. Hi, Tabby. Ah, so you met Stella then. Ugh. That explains every- I fucking knew it! I'm going to bed. I'll collect you tomorrow. I don't care. I could have explored more shit. I- <laughs> That was perfect. That was perfect. From the comfort of Stella's guest bed, the events of the past evening seemed like something that happened to something else. To someone else. Though you can still clearly picture the terror you felt in those moments. For now, you're safe and you're warm. Eventually, the sun will rise and chase away the monsters and make them seem like nothing but bad dreams. Maybe tomorrow, if you're lucky, you'll wake up in the normal world and have a relaxing week in the mountains with a new friend. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. It's a nice thought, but deep down, you can't help but worry that things will only get worse. From behind closed doors, you can, fairly, you can faintly hear the sounds of quiet sobs. Damn. That was the end of chapter one. Oh, shit. I know, right? 
still have a whole fucking week. Those are just mountain lions. I like this. There was blood in that room. Oh shit. And there's the coal mine. Took you long enough, oh man, another mountain lion. <laughs> Why is that? What the fuck? Look at that door! Look at that fucking door! Holy shit. This is good. Yep, this is the end of episode one. Episode two awaits.